شاقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العباد بسم الله الحمد لله السلام عليكم peace be unto you welcome to the Dean show if you've been tuning in since day one you know what we're about we're trying to help you understand Islam and Muslims and we assume that you have an open heart and an open mind because you've come to the source you don't go to a car mechanic to have brain surgery so we assume that you come to the source sincerely wanting to know the truth so we're gonna with the most humble effort try to do that today we're going to take it to the streets, the Dean Show is going on location, trying to find some Muslims, and we're going to ask these very important questions. Should Islam be fear? Because the media has probably got you trembling by now. So we're going to ask some Muslims some very important questions. Should Islam be feared, or should it be loved? And other questions like this. Let's take it to the streets and see what we can find out there. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you, welcome to the Dean Show. The Dean Show here today is taking it to the streets and I met up with an old brother friend of mine from California alaykum Eddie, how you doing? peace be unto you plug in the Dean show yes Dean why should show. people love Islam instead of fearing Islam can you answer that people should love Islam because they should realize if they think this world has problems now if it wasn't for Islam there'd be some serious problems so people have to look beyond the hype and see the dignity that Islam is given to a lot of people who are oppressed and who are not for Islam, uh, the dignity, the goodwill, the hospitality, the warmth that you find in many parts of the Muslim world, even in parts like Iraq or Palestine where Muslims are being oppressed, people will look at the violence and focus on that and forget that there are millions of peace-loving, honest, hard-working people who just want to raise their families and live a good wholesome life and Islam helps them to do that so don't believe the hype if, if someone from the Muslim world formed their perception about America just by looking at the nightly news they'd be scared to ever come to this place all they see is murder death destruction some guy killing his pregnant girlfriend in Ohio some guy killing his three children if they're bombarded with that they think uh, the average American is a savage murderer so of course that's far from the truth and so the images that we receive from the Muslim world in many senses that are designed to distort the truth about who Muslims are so we can keep bombing Muslims and keep the public in the dark and keep the public fearful uh, is just as far as it's even more distorted than that image of America would be so don't believe the hype Look for the good in Muslims. Get in touch with your brothers and sisters at the Dean Show. So, so he's talking about Eddie. And don't, don't believe the hype. Couple more questions. When you see the beautiful, there was a man sent for the whole of mankind. He wasn't just sent for the Arabs. He was sent for the white, the Chinese, the black. It's this man, last and final messenger. Everybody. The, the Prophet, peace be upon him, Muhammad, who's in a line of messengers from Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus Christ, peace, peace be upon him all. And the last and final messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that's for the whole of uh, humanity. Can you tell us, name two of the most beautiful examples of mercy of this last and final messenger to mankind? <laughs> The example of that our Prophet وسلم, the mercy of our Prophet, just to name two, since you mentioned two. But you can go on like for hours, days, talking about his mercy. Have, but you don't have the time. I, I, I too. Yeah, I, I got to go and two of them. find two. some books and eat some food. <laughs> anyway, when our Prophet, peace be upon him, rode into Mecca, after being persecuted by the Meccans, after seeing many of his most beloved companions die at the hands of the Meccans after seeing his wife, his beloved wife Khadija die as a result of the boycott that the Meccans had imposed on the Muslim community he rode into that town with the largest army that had ever been assembled in the Arabian Peninsula and he could have wiped them out he just said you're free there's no blame on you you're free to go and he just let the people go that's one manifestation that's of his one, tremendous mercy one more because I know we're short on time that's a, that's a great one I'll give you a small one out of his mercy to the young people 
uh, once a young girl came and grabbed his hand, peace be upon him, and just started walking with him and walked with him all over the city and he went wherever she wanted to go. He wouldn't extract his hand until she got tired. And that's just a small mercy. So we mentioned a big mercy and a small mercy. So all that Allah Ta'ala asks from us is to just do a lot of, God Almighty asks from us to do a lot of medium-sized mercies. We'll one, la one last question. What does this last and final revelation to mankind, the Quran, which many people don't know about, to our non-Muslim viewers, can you tell us what is the main message of this Quran? What does it teach? The main message of the Quran is to submit to God because man doesn't have all the answers. And because man doesn't have all the answers, that's why we're in the mess we're in. So if you want to move from the mess, from the land of the messet, and become the land of the blessed, then heed that message. Salam alaikum. Thank you, brother. Jazakallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that was on the Dean Show. Salam alaikum. Peace be unto you. Salam alaikum. Welcome back to the Dean Show. The Dean Show today on the street. Look who we just found. Very shocker. After taking it to the streets, asked him some very, very important questions. He gave us some good answers. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Just broke it down for us. And we're going to hit the streets again and see who else we can find to ask some very important questions about this deen and this beautiful way of life. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you, welcome to the deen show. We're at taking it to the streets and I just bumped into a real tall guy, brother of mine in the deen, Abdul Sharif, which actually, I don't uh, actually watch so much uh, baseball or basketball, but the brother's actually, I was told, you an uh, NBA superstar. Alhamdulillah, all praises to God. So I'd like to get you, ask you a couple questions. Uh, can you tell us, you know, today there's a lot of bad press. The media is distorting Islam. And you know what? This beautiful way of life that we follow, can you tell our viewers, why should people love Islam instead of being scared of Islam? Well, I, mean, I think um, generally, you know, Islam is, um, you know, the word Islam meaning submission, you know, and one that is inclined or a group that is inclined towards peace, you know. Submit, submitting to one, to one God. To one God. To one God. You know, one. Nothing created. The Creator of the heavens and earth. That's it. You know, um, create who created. You know, all men, all mankind, all creation. So I, I think just based on that principle, you know, there's nothing, you know, to fear in Islam. Nothing to fear. Can you tell us what's so beautiful about Islam that it brings together the white, the black, the Chinese, all together at, in unity? What does this about Islam that you, I don't really see any other faith or any way of life can, that brings people together, like gets rid of, rid of the prejudice, the nationalism? What about Islam does this? Well, I think, you know, one that we, you know, I think as, as Muslims, you recognize that we all, you know, are from the same source. You know? Muslims, ones who submit to the will of the Creator of the heavens and earth. Exactly. Uh, and that we all are from God, that is one God. We all, we all can agree on that. You know, there's no, in Islam, there's no, you know, disparity in that. There's no, argument about that is one God. One God. And I think if we all can we can all come together on that on that basis right there, one God that Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him was his was his last and final message. Last and final message. Then just like Jesus was a messenger, Moses was a messenger, Noah was a messenger, he brought the same message to submit to one God. Right? And he was the last. And he was the last. So that, I think that's why you can have, you know, as many different ethnic backgrounds, social backgrounds, um, colors all of that, you know, come together and, and get along and, you know, have fun and just deal on that one basis. There's nothing else to, you know, argue about, talk about, Let's, you know, like Allah said in the Quran, you know, he, he made us in the nations and tribes not to not to despise each other, but to get to know each to other. get to know each other. So we come together and get to know each other. Absolutely. One last question. Can you tell us what advice do you have for someone who's seeking the truth, that's out there, that's puzzled by the world and everything, the drama that's going on? Uh, can you tell... Give some advice to somebody who's searching, who has an open heart, open mind. What advice could you give? Well, seek, seek knowledge. That's, I, mean, I think that's the you know, seek, seek the knowledge. You know, seek, seek the information. And I think if you if you examine, you know, everything um, with an open heart and an open mind, you you'll find the truth. It's quite simple, brother. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair, which means may God uh, reward you. Salam alaikum. Peace be unto you. SubhanAllah, that brother was tall, NBA superstar on the Dean show, breaking it down real simple. Islam should be loved, not feared, understand it, you will appreciate it, it's for all mankind.